I will most definitely add that to my calendar. Hey guys, how's it going? Today we're gonna to be chatting about the event that is coming up this Thursday. It is another Apple event and it's titled Hello Again. I wish that I could be there, but um, I think I might have, I must have missed the email invite in my email. I didn't, I don't think I got it. I just see nothing, no message match. Hmm, maybe I should try using different search options. I'll probably do a live stream on Thursday, so stay tuned for that. But now we're gonna take a look at some of the rumors, but I think these rumors are, are a little bit more than rumors, because it looks like some of these things have been confirmed. They've also been hinted at for the past year or so, so let's just take a look. I already went and did a couple little searches, but this was probably the one that I was most excited about, because it said that this leaked trademark confirms that we're getting three new MacBooks this week. No details aside from the model numbers, but the real information is that there's three new models. They're looking forward to a 13 inch 15 and uh, fingers crossed, new MacBook Air. This is all extremely exciting because I do a huge portion of my editing on my MacBook, actually. I was talking with my friend Lamar Wilson the other day and he was saying that he wants to go solely just MacBook, just a laptop. And I was like, that is definitely something that's extremely possible because I do most of my editing probably maybe 70 to 80% on my laptop. For these types of videos, I do use my desk, but most of the time I do a lot of my video production. Everything is run off of a mobile hard drive. Here's my desk. Guess who's a slob? Me. <laughs> I, I, I don't know what you wanted to do. Where do I put the cords? Even though I have one of the trash can Macs that I'm using here, my videos render much faster on my MacBook Pro. So there's that. As you can see here, they're already sort of showing this little OLED screen, and this supposedly is something that they think that will change in regards to what app you're using. So I feel like that's gonna be kind of interesting, especially if you have maybe Spotify even playing in the background. I could just hit next, or I don't know. I'm not sure how this is really gonna work. So let's see if anybody else has any better ideas. This is awesome. So this was first used in the Macintosh 1984. My heart. I'm actually getting teary-eyed just watching this. I get very emotional. Look at, oh, just click, yeah, click that mouse. Oh, 1984, that's when I was born. Don't do the math. I'm not sure if there's any significance in the fact that the Macintosh was born in 1984 and I was also born in 1984. And I'm just saying. So in 1998, this was saying hello to the original iMac. So in 1998, I feel like this introduction of these iMacs for me kind of tied back to my love of Apple and it really reiterated, this is what I love. I love design, I love tech. I remember watching this and was just so excited for the future, for everything. <sighs> So I myself never had one of these iMacs, but this was one of the first computers that we had bought my grandmother. She had the lime green Mac. I remember going to this Apple retail store. It wasn't an Apple store because they didn't really have those yet. And if they did have them, they certainly were not where I lived. 2001, yeah, I was gonna say 1988. That was a long time ago. First Mac that I used pretty much solely myself, even though it was my parents, it was the Power PC. It was a 6160. Oh, here it is. Oh, this is my baby. Ah! We definitely didn't have that monitor though. We definitely had something different. Oh, you changed my life. 1994. 60 megahertz. What? Apple is updating its MacBook line because it has to. I do feel like the MacBooks have been kind of stagnant. I mean, they did come out with a MacBook Air. They did a refresh fairly recently, but the refresh wasn't really enough, I think, to get people to really be like, all right, this is something that I need. Rumors say that Apple removed the SD card slot from the MacBook Pros, which will infuriate photographers and other people. Me! Having that SD card slot is such a lifesaver, so I'm gonna be so upset if that's gone, please. Please don't do it. And they'll cut the MagSafe charger for USB-C. Okay, that's fine. Okay, it's fine if it's USB-C, but you need to make it sort of magnetic. That MagSafe has saved my laptop so many times from falling off of my desk. I've kicked that stupid cord out of not only my computers, but so many people's computers at coffee shops and offices. And there's gonna be so much destruction if that does, if that's, if that's the case. <laughs> the magic toolbar. Oh goodness. Look at it. 
I'm down with that. But if that kills my battery life, just to have this thing on, we're gonna turn it off immediately. What Apple introduces on Thursday will likely be the MacBook Pro appearance until around 2020. Where is all the time gone? This looks good. This looks nice. I mean, it basically just looks like the MacBook now, but with that. Forget MacBook Pro competition. Dude, the Microsoft Surface is freaking awesome. I'm just saying, like, it's a really great device. I mean, it can be a laptop when you want it to be. It can be a tablet when you want it to be. Like, I know this is an Apple video and all, but I just, I just gotta give you a look-see. It's not charged. Oh man, like this hinge, like it just looks, it's just a, it's a good looking, a good looking book. It smells nice too. And guess what it still has? An SD card slot. Please, Apple, don't do away with SD card slots. God, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have so many dongles. I'm gonna be covered in dongles. Oh, Apple might announce five things this week? What five, what are five things? New MacBook Pro, other MacBook laptop updates, new iMac. Oh yeah, I'll take that, a 5K display. I don't think they're gonna do that, but they need to. They really have to. AirPods launch, oh, that's right. Holy moly. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited for them. I've been trying recently to wear the other headphones that come with the, the iPhone, the Firewire ones. Oh my God, if I call, Lightning, Firewire, one more time. It's like my brain has just flashed back to 10 years ago. The Lightning cable headphones, I've been using them a lot just to see if when I get the AirPods, it's something that I can get used to. They still don't stay in my ears very well, so I'm just, I'm maybe just, I, I think it's just like wishful thinking. Like I keep just pushing them in, hoping that maybe like my ears will conform to the headphones. You know, I just, maybe I need to get surgery. Like I was thinking, you know, maybe I could just make some calls. I do live in Los Angeles, so I feel like I could go in to somewhere and be like, listen, I, I need to get myself fixed up. I'm a mess. My headphones do not fit in my ears. <laughs> oh God, that sounds like something a Kardashian would do. Or a Jenner, I don't know, they're all the same. Man, this video was all over the place. Extremely nostalgic for me, but also very excited for Thursday. So I hope you guys will check out the live stream. I think I'm gonna do one, so make sure you guys follow me on Twitter or Instagram or Facebook because I will uh, probably alert you ahead of time. Not really sure how the live stream alerts go out here on YouTube, so I, I don't, I can't even be like, hey, stay tuned here because I don't know if subscribers will see it or if you'll get a notification. I'm not sure. If you guys know, leave me a comment below. This is completely a side note. Um, Ryan Lochte's dog has been, okay, wait, this is great. This is like the funniest thing ever. I saw this yesterday. <laughs> Ryan celebrates his dog's eighth birthday three years in a row. <laughs> so for the past three years, he's he said eight years ago, this handsome son was born. So that was this year, and then the previous year, and then the year before that. <laughs> I just hope somebody else can find humor in that because I sent it to so many people yesterday and I don't think anybody else was amused as I was. Okay, I'll see you guys Thursday. Let me know your thoughts below. Let me know what you're looking forward to. Let me know how you're loving your iPhone because I'm really, really loving it. I also, I have found something that it does something weird. I'm not gonna tell you here because I think I need to make a whole separate video about it because it's, it's strange. And uh, yeah, well, let's talk about that tomorrow. I'll see you guys later, bye. After updating, it gave me this little notice that said, just letting you know this is still beta, but here you go, feel free to try it out. Let me just tap on this Dasani bottle and it makes everything in the background blurry. So I'm gonna take a shot. And when I take this photo, this is without the depth feature, this is with. 